So here is the circuit of the simple voltage booster that you saw early in this video. Now there are other ways to efficiently boost the DC voltage of a battery, but this is just a very, very simple circuit that you can try. So the voltage of the battery, as was shown in the picture, was 6 volts. Now the output voltage, it varied between 36 and 41 volts. But let's use 40 volts because that's a nice round number. So we're going to say it's about 40. Now, here's something that you need to keep in mind. Because a transformer doesn't respond to DC current or direct current. Because the transformer contains coils of wire, it acts like an inductor, which reacts to a change in current. And the change in current is produced by the motor. So when the battery causes the motor to spin, it creates a back EMF, which opposes the battery's voltage. And so you constantly have a change in current. You have an AC wave that rides on the DC signal. And it's that AC wave that is amplified to the transformer. When I mean amplified, the voltage is increased, but the current is going to decrease correspondingly. The transformer doesn't provide any power gain, but this transformer that I'm using, the way it's set up, it's a step-up transformer, which means it's designed to increase the voltage. The transformer is rated at 6 volts to 120 volts. This is the primary voltage, and that's the secondary voltage, the way it's used in this circuit. So 120 divided by 6, we get a ratio of 1 to 20. That means that one side of the transformer has 20 times more coil than the, the other side of the transformer. This means that the right side of the transformer has 20 times more coils of wire than the left side. So if we were to apply an AC voltage of 1 volt on the left side, the output voltage would be approximately 20. So here we see that the output voltage is 40. This implies that the AC voltage at the, the primary part of the transformer is going to be 20 times less. It's going to be approximately 2 volts. And so that's due to the motor. It generates a back EMF or an AC wave that rides on the DC signal. As for the light bulb, I just put that in there. I mean, it's not necessary, but I just decided to add that in uh, to the equation. So that's a simple voltage booster circuit that uh, increases uh, the DC voltage of a battery. So we have an AC signal on the right side of the transformer. Now, once again, there are a lot more efficient ways of doing this, but this is a very simple uh, demonstration. Now, for those of you who might be interested, I created another video entitled Boost Converters DC to DC Step-Up Voltage Circuits. If you go to YouTube, you can search that out. Or if you just type in Boost Converters Organic Chemistry Tutor, it should come up in the search results. But in that circuit, all you need is an inductor, a capacitor, a diode, and a switch. And then you could boost the DC voltage of a battery. So check that out when you get a chance. And here's something else that you might find interesting. Let's say if you connect a battery to a motor and to a speaker. What will happen here is that you can actually hear the sound of the motor in the speaker. And so that tells you that the AC wave that's generated by the motor is riding along the DC signal because you can hear it in the speaker. So that's something else that you can test out if you have an interest in this. So that's it for this video. For those of you who enjoyed it, whatever you do, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And also, make sure to click on that notification bell. Now I do want to mention that for those of you who are interested in any merchandise I have to offer, check out the just below the description section of this video and you can see some merc that I have for sale if you are interested in that stuff. But thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.